Hi there, let us look at control statements. We are going to look at if, else if, for, and a while loop. Now let's start with an if statement. For if statement, example one, we are going to define our x as x equals to 10. And if x is greater than nine, display x is greater than nine. Run the file, x is larger than nine. Now let's look at an else and else if statement. We defined our x as is equals to 10. And we are saying is if x is greater than 20, display x is larger than 20. And else if, if x is greater than 2, display x is greater than 2 but less than 20. Else, display x is a negative. And x is larger than 2 but less than 20. We know that our x was defined as 10. Now let's look at a for loop. For loop example one. So we are saying for i is equals to one is to five, display sprint f the i index. Notice how we computed everything. So what we expect is we expect to see i one, first i second i all the way to five. I run my file. When you come to your command windows, this is what should display. Next, let's look at example two, a for loop as well. For i between 30 and 100, display characters. Notice what Octave will do for you. Octave is now displaying all those characters. Started all the way from 30, going all the way down until the small letter D, which is 100. Now let us look at for loop example three. So now we are saying, n is equal to input an integer. For i is equal to one is to n, display happy, n. Run the file. Let's choose an integer of five. Happy, 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 five times. Lastly, let us look at a while loop. I have defined my i as equals to one, while the i is less than five display i and i should be i plus one so what do we expect to see we expect to see one all the way to five let's see well one all the way to four until less than five run the file and there we go if i choose to omit this part here and this here it's displaying better now thank you so much for watching and i look forward to showing you more about active on our next lesson